हेलो बच्चों सो हैव यू हैव क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम पाथ फाइंडर इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक्स चैप्टर ये बिल्ड अप योर अंडरस्टैंडिंग का क्वेश्चन नंबर 23 है सो व्हाट डज द क्वेश्चन से अ स्मॉल सर्कुलर मेटल डिस्क ऑफ मास एम एंड रेडियस आर इज ग्लूड ऑन अ हैवी पोर्सलेन बॉल ऑफ रेडियस कैपिटल आर विद अ स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ ग्लू दैट लूजेस इट्स स्ट्रेंथ वेरी क्विकली ओके सो लेट्स ड्रा द क्वेश्चन साइड बाय साइड सो हियर वी हैव अ पोर्सलेन बॉल एंड हियर वी हैव अ टाइनी डिस्क Okay, this is a tiny disc over here. All right. Now, before the glue loses its strength, a total charge Q is sprinkled uniformly on the surface of the assembly. So, from all the directions, we are uniformly sprinkling some charge on the surface of the system. Okay. so here we uh, let's draw the charge over here so i am uniformly distributing a positive charge q on the surface of the porcelain okay so this is your uniformly distributed positively charged charge plus q okay the metal disc the metal disc jumps off the ball immediately after the glue loses its strength okay now the glue is losing strength so this disc will jump off okay the disc will jump off all right so uh, find the acceleration of the metal disc at the time of separation okay neglect effects of gravity and assume area of the disc negligibly small as compared to the surface area of the ball so that's why i have drawn a very small disc over here as compared to the ball because the area of the disc is negligibly small okay so let's see how to solve this now this is your initial system now just after the glue loses its strength the disc will try to separate off okay now if you see what happens over here the charge that is sprinkled on the disc is also going away with the disc so there is a small space over here on the ball which will not be having any charge okay which will not be having any charge so just before this goes away it is still at this point correct now how do we solve this question so we know something called as electrostatic pressure electrostatic pressure okay that is equal to sigma by 2 epsilon not sigma square by 2 epsilon not this is the formula for electrostatic pressure the sigma is what the surface charge density okay so sigma in this case will be equal to q by 4 pi r square where r is what radius of the entire sphere correct so the charge is distributed with this density on the entire surface that means the disc also has charge of same density okay so we could solve this question based on how we derived electrostatic pressure you must have seen the derivation i am not going into the derivation okay so i'll just write down directly that the force the force on this disc will be how much this is your entire sphere okay so everywhere on the sphere you are experiencing this much pressure that means on the disc also you have the same pressure so the disc will experience a force f and f will be equal to pressure multiplied by area that's it now you just need to put the values and solve okay so pressure is how much sigma square by 2 epsilon not okay and area of the disc is how much area of the disc will be how much pi r square correct okay now just put the values so sigma square will be q square by you are squaring this thing so q square by 16 pi square r power 4 times 2 epsilon not times pi r square so when you rearrange this you get the force to be equal to q square r square by 32 pi r power 4 epsilon not and then you want to find the acceleration so acceleration will be force by mass so just put the mass of the disc over here that's it this is your answer clear